Good morning, everyone. So, I am getting ready to go on Show Me St. Louis today, and I spent 20 minutes looking for a bobby pin this morning because we just moved last weekend. So, I spent like an hour and a half just finding things this morning. Um, but I am going to be talking about how to paint IKEA furniture, and I was wondering if you guys had any questions about it that you would want me to answer on air. And I'm gonna, for those of you not in St. Louis, I'm going to um, replay, or I'm gonna share the link with you guys later on today. So if you have any questions on how to paint that white laminate furniture, um, let me know so I can answer them for you today. Uh, I'll be on Show Me St. Louis at 10 o'clock. So I'm just seeing if there's any questions that I don't have in my head now that you guys um, may want answered. So does anyone have, have you, has anyone ever tried to paint Ikea furniture? Anybody? Do you guys like my big gaudy necklace? I love it. Um, okay, so no one's tried to paint Ikea furniture. So why is that? Why haven't you tried to paint it? Anybody? Oh, come on, you guys, don't be shy. Okay, well, I'm gonna give you a bunch of tips today, and we're gonna do a class for it too, maybe even a live class, where to start. So when you paint Ikea furniture, you have to prep it, and it depends on the piece, because some, you can't go, you can't sand too much, and you don't own or buy it. You know what, sometimes, well, let me answer the first question first. So. You have to be careful to not go through that white stuff, but you gotta rough it up so it takes paint. I don't paint it to sell um, because it just makes me nervous that laminate's gonna scratch really easily because white laminate, for whatever reason, is the hardest surface to paint more than any other color laminate. Um, so it doesn't really make any sense. But I, I mean, I don't love IKEA furniture. I think of it as kind of temporary, but I think there's a time and place for it. Like if I was going to have kids and if I was gonna have a baby, I'd maybe probably consider an Ikea baby set because it's gonna be cheaper um, and they're not in it forever. Or I personally have an Ikea bookshelf because your whole house can't be filled with amazing statement thousand dollar pieces, right? Every now and then you just need a cheap bookshelf. So I think there's a time and place for Ikea furniture, but um, you know, it's it's not gonna last forever and I think that's, that's fine. So, um, so I don't mind having some, but I don't mind jazzing it up either. You guys know me. So if you guys think of any questions, let me know on Facebook, and I'll see you at 10 on Show Me St. Louis.